Hello everyone and welcome back to Game Brigade. I am Ashwolf. I'm joined today with Ender and today we have a StarCraft replay of a game that Ender played specifically on Arid Waste. How are you doing today Ender? Pretty well. So right away let's go ahead and call out the players. We have Ender, you are spawning at the 6 o'clock position as the blue zerg. Your partner is LOL. And yeah, he's lol. As, yeah, <laughs> lol. And he is spawning as the red Protoss in about the 9 o'clock position. And we have a purple Terran, Spur, as the uh, purple Terran in the 12 o'clock position. And Zero as the C uh, Teal, Cyan, uh, Protoss in the 3 o'clock position. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about this uh, map uh, and uh, what you've learned from playing it several times in the ladder. So, uh, I played uh, in the beta, and I played mostly like 1v1 ladders, but then uh, I found a friend that had was starting to play StarCraft, so I started to play 2v2 quite a bit more, and uh, this is actually one of our favorite maps. Um, just lots of room, some expos, easy natural, and watchtowers. That's correct. Now, about the... Uh, the for most 2v2 maps, uh, normally the allies are fairly close to each other, uh, this map in particular is actually very different. It kind of puts one of the allies kind of on an island by himself. Uh, in this example, Spur would be the uh, example, and you enter as the Zerg. Uh, and I say that because you have a back door that's easily reached, and your your main entrance is pretty far distance from where your ally has to get to you. So in 2v2, normally what happens is that one player will get attacked, and it's usually the island uh, the island yeah. rooted player. Yeah, and that's why uh, the watch holding your watchtower on this level is super important. Know uh, when your opponents are coming and be able to engage their army before they get to your main. So I, I see that uh, Lol here. He's doing some uh, some scouting for your team. Uh, is this normal the, routine that you have only one player scout and do do scouting of both players? So actually. Um, Lol, since he has to build buildings and whatnot and has to look at his base more, um, we decided we turned on shared control, and this is actually me controlling the probe okay. and going around their base, because all I have to do is like press 4S, D, 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 or V, or whatever, yep. and make like one building, so it's a lot easier for me to control this probe than it is for him. So it looks like, uh, from what I can tell, Lol, I'm at uh, 356 right now, he is building... Uh, two gateways, uh, which generally means a two-gate push, and you actually have your spawning pool going with a roach warn. Are you guys going to be planning some sort of timing attack with uh, gateway units like um, zealots and roaches? So we like uh, scouting with that probe very early, and uh, I think if you go to um, our cam, you can see that we saw that they had uh, multiple gateways. Um, and he had two barracks, so we were basically just reacting to them. Yep. And when we see this build, normally roaches in 1v1 aren't super great, but in 2v2 they're actually really good. And I found, like, I just power drone until my roach warren's done, and then I can make roaches with a uh, nice economy. So we can see a push out that's happening by the opposite team. Uh, we got a squad of four zealots moving out with a squad of about six marines. They're currently coming down to what I think is probably the, the island player, which would be you, uh, uh, yes, Ender. Yes, yep. Yeah, and here I make a mistake, because if you look in the production tab, you see ten zerglings, and I actually thought they were going to come a little bit later with marauders, but they came with the composition that I should have had more roaches, so yeah. I should have stuck to my tech here and get punished for it as well. So you just basically lost all your roaches right there at your your uh, natural expo. You're trying to hold off the line. Uh, we can yeah. see Lawless right here, coming I'm in. Trying to buy time for my partner to get in. Yeah, exactly. With the backup with the zealots and the stalker. Uh, so right now they're basically in your base. You only have four uh, uh, zerglings. You have one roach, that, and you have a queen that's uh, trying desperately to do some sort of damage. Yeah. Now, one thing I noticed right here, Pedro, or uh, Ender, rather, is you, uh, you're you using your drones to engage the zealots. Is that something that you actually encourage doing, that you think is a good idea? Um, they're, in, they're already in your middle line, so you might as well be fighting with your uh, drones. In my economy, I think it actually wasn't 
uh, hurt super by this. I still have, uh, I guess I'm down at 15 drones, but that queen is going to want me to get up there, uh, and we have this uh, army moving out to their base as well. Yeah, you have an army of, it looks about five roaches, along with uh, some zealots and stalkers moving out. Now, are you going to retaliate on the island expo up here? Um, I think that's what we end up doing because we saw a heavy marine composition. So roaches are great against them. They're great against uh, uh, and zealots are great against that too. And we just grabbed this watchtower to see if there's uh, reinforcements coming in or not. Any, and one thing really noted, like that's interesting for me, is that he's building marines out of his barracks, but he doesn't have any add-ons. Uh, that is fairly, you know uncommon sometimes because you know most players especially Terran you want to get your add-ons because you feel like you need to get that production you need to double marines out of the reactor or the marauders out of the tech lab um, well in this case I think it's actually fine because they lost their entire army so they need to be able to have uh, units um, when we come and attack them like we did so it looks like right here you your uh, your counterattack here looks like it's, it's failing pretty bad uh, he came in with a bunch yeah. of marines, he has a siege tank, uh, the purple, uh, or the cyan uh, protoss here also has a few stalkers, cleaned up your guys' retaliation pretty uh, easily, I think. Yeah, that, that did not go well for sure. One thing to note though, is that you actually have your expo already going, it's not quite saturated, but you do have a queen there, and uh, Lol also has his expo about a quarter of the way done. Yeah, and I think yeah and then here's my here's my drone transfer that I'm gonna have to untransfer because yep. of this attack this push that they're doing right now so basically it looks like you're reeling the entire game so far you're, you're, you're trying to get yourself an economic advantage yeah. but you're also having a pressure constantly at your guys's front door yeah they, they yeah they they just have pressure up here and one of the important things you see right here with that siege tank being sieged up, if you see tanks like just starting to get sieged up, you need to get up there right away before they get sieged. Yeah, there's about a two, two to three second delay where they're, where they're trying to you know siege up, and that's the best opportunity yeah. for you to get in there and attack. And them. even if you don't get all the way up there, at least they're gonna do some splash damage to their own units. So what, what's your current time stamp right now? What are you currently seeing right now on the time clock? I'm uh, sitting at 10.45 right now, and they're still pushing us uh, pretty hard, but it looks like we're finally starting to uh, get uh, our defense in place. So I'm at 11.05. I'm at 11 .05. How about you? Uh, I'm about to hit 11.05. I just hit it right now. I'm at 11.10. Oh, and... Okay. Uh, so I'm seeing right now, as you see, a few stalkers, they're sitting right on Lol's uh, ramp. He's uh, yeah. he's not quite uh, saturating his mineral line, um, but maybe he'll see yeah, a drone transfer here soon. Yeah, we've been just trying to keep in this game. One of our mistakes here is we should have had this watchtower, and their watchtower isn't even taken. And for the cost, so I guess uh, I guess we are taking the watchtowers, but yeah, these like watchtowers are very important and worth the 50 minerals in uh, in getting that watchtower. Here you see a, a Ling headed out and this was, we had no idea what they were doing. And this Ling is a hero Ling uh, when you're playing the game. Yeah, as we walk he's in, already we in the main base. He's right actually, into his base yep. and we see a dark shrine and we basically just freak out at this point trying to get detection. Yeah, he's already he's got gone. three dark templars up. Uh, as, as well as about six to seven stock or uh, zealots, and he's actually sending the three dark templars. It looks like down to your main base. Yeah, um, and my lair isn't done, and because my lair wasn't done, I threw down a very quick evolution chamber to see if I can get a uh, spore crawlers in place before they get here. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. You actually got the dark dark templars coming into your base right now. Uh, they're bypassing your units and they're going straight for your hatchery. Yeah, and, there, and they're going to take that down easily. Oh yeah, you lost that quick. Uh, you can see you're already on the move. You're trying to get everything out of there. Uh, and how here you actually how far can see, I go to my ramp and I put my units on a hold position because I would rather them mow through roaches than mow through my mineral line. Yeah, and it's actually working quite well because he, uh, he looks like he kind of gave up. I don't know quite what Zero here is doing. Uh, trying to attack your uh, your lings, he only killed two or three there. 
uh, by the time it gave you a chance to morph in an, an overseer. And here we kind of just play uh, dance around with uh, with these Dark Templars, trying to have my Overseer catch up. And they're intercepted by a uh, Observer here. So it looks like you guys can be able to take care of this uh, Dark Templar uh, tech pretty easily now. Uh, I actually think that's probably a bad move by Zero there to send his Dark Templars. Uh, Without any sort of escort either, you know, they didn't have any other units. I mean, they have a very large composition sitting at the top of the map. You have clear vision of that right there. Um, what do you think about that, why he didn't send down these forces along with the Dark Templars to kind of, you know, give them some support? Um, they saw that we had a wing in their base for that Dark Shrine, so it was either then or never Yeah. to be able to attack. So it looks like you guys lost the... Uh, the watchtowers, they're currently holding them with the siege tank, which is a very good way to hold the uh, watchtower by putting yes. that siege tank up there. Yeah, and here we go to uh, break down my rock so I can get an easy third expansion, and I think they see this, um, and I don't know if they're going to move in or not. Um. Right now they're just kind of dancing around. I can see that your guys trying to take over your own uh, watchtower to get some vision. And I think they're sending about three lings or three uh, zealots. Okay, now they're sending some more. They're sending some more zealots on. I think they're going to check out to see what you're doing down here. Yeah, yeah. here they go. So they, they so find this, but uh, unfortunately, um, we start moving our units. <laughs> so let's see if you get a good cancel on this or if they blow up. They blew it up before the cancel went down. And then we're going to yeah. have an engagement right here on your back door ramp which you have uh, so conveniently uh, opened up for them, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, we should have uh, broken down these back rocks in the back way so they couldn't see I was taking another expansion. And yeah, I get so wrecked here because my partner is on the other side of the map. So yeah, this is the, the example where I was saying where your partner is so far away it takes a long time for him to get into your base. 